Victoria with a 3.98 GPA. Dr. Short then attended the start while in his office and under his care. Dr. Short has membership in several honorary and currently serving as his office manager. They have two children, Jayla and Ava. Dr. Short attributes his success to an understanding. Actually, when I was walking up the hill, I, I realized I'm, I'm getting older and out of shape. I was at the time. I would get close, close, close. And I got accepted to all, I mean, all the top-notch schools, you know, Morehouse, and I was close to going Morehouse. I'll see what I can do. So I took this SAT, he said, just try to take it again. I took it again, and the best out of the building, I'm like, okay, well, I can make the best out of it, because, I mean, my environment wasn't, you know, you know, when I wouldn't go over the system. told me to look to my left, and I saw literally in concrete, Rico was here. Our he was awesome. proud of that. And we had students, not just from Morris Brown, they were from Spelman, they were from Morehouse, and nobody made an A in his class that year. So that was the only B that I made while I was at Morris Brown. You mean to tell me that school? Yes, that school. I even have my diploma only three years here. I got accepted a year early. They thought I was there on the quarter system. Hmm. But when I got there, my grades and stuff was just as good as theirs. I mean, yeah. so, so anyway, tonight I'm, I'm gonna spend a little time. So, let's jump right into this. In the darkness, that's what we're gonna be talking about. How did I get there? So, I was um, in Morris Brown College, class of 96. But you know right now, there's two systems going on. And I'm not gonna preach a sermon, it may sound like it. But, there's a worldly system, what we see. Then there's a I was a little different from the lovebirds here. I was when you were born, before you were born. And what I mean by that, to be born in slavery, because y'all would kill somebody. Somebody <laughs> kill you. I think I got some TV Max on sale. I had on some polo jeans, volunteering at a dental clinic downtown, taking out teeth. Taking out that. This is my, this is what was happening. I mean, stuff was coming to me, and that's how I was able to write this book, Get Into the Ruby of Problem. They too, did you have a choice? That's a different favorite. color, don't agree what you agree in. And then you go back there and you see if you want to go back there. I guarantee you somebody would be very happy to switch to scary house. <laughs> but why would I want to pay somebody to be sent to the stars? You know, we when I hear about talk, my first celebrity patient, well, I, I you'll see some of the people. I'll show you somebody gets a lot of spiritual things from my book, which is which is great. Really? And you look at time, because that's what people complain about. It takes too much time for me to go. Very, very important. In fact, there was a time when I was afraid because I was the only black person in, in my area to really. Uh, another good friend of mine, um, Fosworth Bentley, he's been in my office. He, he was at Morehouse when I was here. He, his, he, his major was biology. Or yeah. Yeah. That's right. Anybody remember when he was on Hot 1079? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That was called the home team, baby. Ain't talking about Jesus, baby, right? right.